Learn how to refine, upscale, and transform your AI videos in the next series of videos I am preparing. Multiple options are possible. In this video, learn how to refine with SD 1.5 and Control Net GIF. Let's get started. For the methods in this tutorial, we are going to use the following custom node packs. Install these models from the manager or use the links I leave in the description. Control GIF or Animate GIF Control Net, it is used in this workflow to smoothen the refined video. Link is also in the description. The starting video was made using COG Video X5B. I use it to make my own Roll B video footage, but needs refining. Check out the tutorial to know how to use it in Comfy UI. The simplest method to upscale is to do second pass of your video using Animate Diff and Control Net at a low denoise. Place a load video upload node in the default workflow in Comfy UI. We are going to use one of the helicopter videos we made in the previous tutorial about COG Video X. We can use an image resize node to define the size we want for the refined video. In this case, we are going to use the same dimensions than the original video, but we place it so this workflow can be used as template for future creations. Connect it with the load video upload node and set the width to 720 and the height to 480. Select bilinear or Lanxos as an upscale method for better results. Connect the image resize node to a VE encode and also the VE from the checkpoint. Connect then the output latent to the case sampler. Use a realistic checkpoint like realistic vision or epic realism. In the prompt, at a description of the video. It does not need to be very detailed. We use a helicopter flying over a cyberpunk city. Make some space for the additional nodes. First, we place the used evolved sampling for anime diff. Connect the checkpoint loader to the used evolved sampling node and this to the case sampler. Next, place an Apply Animate Diff Model Simple node. Then, place an Animate Diff Model Loader Simple. Select the Animate Diff Version 3 model. Connect the standard uniform context options to the Use Evolved Sampling node. There is no need to change any of the default values. Place now an Apply Control Net Advanced node. It will be used for the Control GIF Control Net. Connect the positive and negative prompts to the Control Net Apply node. Although we will use a denoise strength below 1, the prompts influence the refined video. Try to use good positive and negative prompts. This video is an example of how to set up the workflow, but optimal parameters depend on the video and the models, so you need to find them out. Connect now a load advanced control net model node to the control net apply node. Select the control GIF model. The name may vary depending from where you download it. Connect the control net advanced apply node to the case sampler. Finally, connect the video frames to the control net. For control GIF, you do not need any preprocessor. Define now the settings of the control net node. Control GIF will smoothen the transition between frames. We set strength at 0.8 in this example. Try different values to get the results you want. In the case sampler, we first fix the seed. Increase the steps to 25. Change the sampler to DPM++ SD and the scheduler to Keras. Experiment with other schedulers if you see fit. 
reduce the denoise strength to 0.8. For other videos, you may need to go to values as low as 0.2. Sampling may change the tones of the video, so it is a good idea to add a color match node. Connect the output image from the VE decode node to the image target input of the color match node. Use the image output of the resize image node as the reference images in the color match node. You can delete the save image node. Finally, use a preview animation node to visualize the results. Use a video combine node to save the final animation. The refined video is smoother than the original one. However, you can see that the helicopter slightly morphs. To improve it, you may want to adjust the strength and end percent values of the control GIF control net. Also play with the denoise strength to balance smoothness, consistency, and fidelity of the original scene. Adding a control net tile helps in achieving more consistency. Copy the apply advanced control net node and connect both in series to the K sampler. Copy the advanced control net node and connect it to the second apply advanced control net. Select the control net tile model for SD 1.5. Set strength and end percent to 0.4. Of course, do not forget to add the input images to the control net. Like for control GIF control net, connect the reference video frames of the image resize node. Tile control net helps in keeping some details while improving the smoothness of the animation. If you are happy with the results, you can apply upscaling and frame interpolation. Connect the video frames to an upscale image using model node, and this to a load upscale model. We use the real ESRGON X2 model, but you can also use even higher resolutions. Better smoothness can be achieved by increasing the frame rate. To do that, we use frame interpolation. A very good node is rife interpolation. Connect the upscaled images to the node, and keep the multiplier at 2. If you have issues with RAM memory, you can decrease the value of the cache cleaning to 5. Place a preview animation node to visualize the results. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next video of these series, where we will use animate diff image to video models to make the refining process even easier. Bye.